Sure try. You should be aware of this in advance and not get caught up in the cycle of transmigration. If you are confused and do not understand, you will fall into the relentless house. Commentary Ananda You should be aware of this in advance. Understand the principle involved and not get caught up in the cycle of transmigration. If you are aware of the demonic state, you won't fall into the demon's trap. You won't end up in the retinue of demons. But if you are confused and do not understand, there will be no politeness involved. It's certain you will fall into the relentless house. You will not be shown the slightest favor. Sutra Ananda, you should know that in the drama ending age, these ten kinds of demons may leave the home life to cultivate the way within my drama. They may possess the um, other people, or they may manifest themselves in various forms. All of them will claim that they have already accomplished proper and progressive knowledge and awareness. Commentary Ananda, you should know that, especially in the Dharma Ending Age, these ten kinds of demons, the ones that appear in the ten demonic states associated with the thinking skanda, may leave the home life to cultivate the way within my Buddha Dharma. They may possess other people. The demon kings may possess other people, or they may manifest themselves in various forms. They may display their spiritual powers as demon kings and manifest all kinds of forms. They may appear as Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Arhats, or Gods. Demon kings can manifest in any kind of body. All of them will claim that they have already accomplished proper and pervasive knowledge and awareness. Proper and pervasive knowledge refers to the Buddha who has both proper knowledge and pervasive knowledge. Proper knowledge means knowing that the mind produces the myriad dramas. Pervasive knowledge means knowing that the myriad dramas are the mind itself. When someone has genuine, proper and pervasive knowledge and views, he becomes a Buddha, one of proper and pervasive knowledge. However, demons pretend to be Buddhas and claim to have attained proper and pervasive knowledge. When Shakyamuni Buddha was about to enter Nirvana, he summoned the demon king and commanded him, You should abide by the rules. Follow the rules from now on. Don't violate them. The demon king replied, So you want me to follow your rules? Fine, during the ending age of your drama, you will, I will wear your garments, eat your food, and defecate in your arms bowl. His meaning was that he would destroy the drama from within. When the Buddha heard that he was worried, he wept and said, There's really nothing I can do about you. Your method is the most poisonous, the most destructive. There is the saying, the, pa the parasites on the lion's body eat the lion's flesh. This means that in the Dharma ending age, the, the demons are strong and the Dharma is weak. There are a lot of demon kings, therefore cultivators must be, must be very careful. What are demon kings like? In general, they are different from ordinary people. They have a demonic energy about them. There is something unusual about them which reveals that they are demon kings. January 1983 The Dharma ending age is a time where the Dharma is weak and demons are strong. The Song of Enlightenment by Great Master Yung Cha says it very clearly. Alas, in the evil time of the Dharma ending age, Living beings have few blessings. It is difficult to train them. Far indeed from the sages of the past, their devin views are deep. Demons are strong. The Dharma is weak. Many are the wrongs and 
injuries. And injuries. Hearing of the door of the Tathagata's sudden teaching, they regret not destroying it as they would smash a tile. Alas expresses a regretful sign about the Dharma ending age. The evil time means this time is very evil and vile. All the monsters are appearing in the world. The computer is one of the biggest monsters and television is a small monster. The small monster helps the big one out and the big monster wants the, to devour all the people. It wants to take people's jobs away. This is a very evil age. Living beings have no blessings. They are tense and nervous from morning to night and people suffer from diseases of the heart, liver, lungs, spleen, and kidneys. Such diseases strike people because they are infected with the devil energy. They have been poisoned too deeply. You think it's nice to watch television, to talk on the phone, to listen to the radio, and to play with the computer, but you don't realize the harm that these things do to your heart, liver, spleen, lungs, and kidneys. They cause people to act inhuman and ghosts to act unlike ghosts. That's a sign that the world is starting to go bad. We have been born in a time when living beings have no blessings and are difficult to teach. You may advise them not to watch television or listen to the radio, but they insist on doing those things. Tell them not to listen to music, but they listen on the slide. It's not easy to teach the upside-down living beings in this terrible age. Far indeed from the sages of the past, they are very far from the Buddhas. Their Devin views are deep. Everyone has different knowledge and different views. No one has proper knowledge and proper views. Their different views are too deep. Demons are strong. The Dharma is weak in this age. The demons prosper and the Dharma is very feeble. feeble. Many are the wrongs and injuries. You hurt me and I hurt you. We hurt each other out of resentment. Hearing of the door of the Tathagata Sati teaching, if they hear of the Buddha's proper Dhamma eye treasury, the Dhamma door of the Sati teaching, they regret not destroying it as they would smash a tile. They regret not being able to break it immediately as they would smash a tile to bits. That's how much they hate the Buddha Dhamma. This is the way we are now. Therefore, we Buddhists who live at the city of 10,000 Buddhas should not keep radios, televisions, or musical records in our homes. We should get rid of these. No matter how busy we are, we should attend the morning and evening ceremonies and the sutra recitations. We should not be absent from these activities. If you are a lay person and you cannot make it to the temple, you may do the morning and evening ceremonies, recite sutras, and investigate the Buddha drama at home. Don't spend your spare time watching television or listening to the radio, being no different from people of the outside world. The city of 10,000 Buddhas is different from the outside world, and we should not let ourselves be influenced by the common crowd. All of you at the city of 10,000 Buddhas should devote your attention to the Buddha Dharma and to studying the practicing the principles of the Buddhist Sutras. If you memorize the Suragama Sutra, that will make me extremely happy. Even at home, you should read and recite the Suragama Sutra, the Dharma Flower Sutra, and the Avadamsaka Sutra. What's the point of coming to the city of 10,000 Buddhas if you don't understand the Buddha Dharma at all? It's meaningless. If you don't understand anything and you have no idea what people are talking about during discussions, then your being here is too pitiful. 
Sutra, the praise lost and break the Buddha's moral precepts, the evil demonic teachers and their demonic disciples that I just discussed transmit their teaching through licentious activity. Such demon spirits take over cultivators' minds, and after as few as nine lives or as many as a hundred generations, they turn true practitioners entirely into followers of demons. Commentary They praise lust. How can one tell if someone is a demon? Demons do not praise proper methods of practice. They praise lust and openly advocate sex, and they break the Buddha's moral precepts. They say, the Buddha's precepts are useless. Don't keep them. The Buddha's precepts will work for adherence of the small vehicle to practice. We are great vehicle bodhisattvas, great vehicle Buddhas. Since we have already become Buddhas, we don't need to hold the precepts. The evil demonic teachers of Dharma and their demonic disciples, the disciples of the demon kings that I just discussed, transmit their teaching through licentious activity. They practice lust with each other and praise it, saying, It is the finest and most wonderful Dharma door. The principle of true emptiness and wonderful existence lies right within this. Such a divine spirit, that is, those who is still lost, take over cultivators' minds. Because the cultivators' minds are confused by the devil demons who have possessed them, they crave sex and openly advocate lust. It's all because the demons have taken over their minds. And after as few as nine lives, or as many as a hundred generations, they turn true practitioners entirely into followers of demons. At the minimum, it takes nine lives. What does one life mean? Is it the period from a person's birth until his death? No, rather it refers to a period of a hundred years. Therefore, nine lives is nine hundred years. At the most, it takes over a hundred generations. One generation represents 30 years, and so a hundred generations is 3,000 years. It takes a minimum of nine lives to turn a true cultivator completely into a member of the demon's retinue. At the other extreme, it might take as long as a hundred generations from the time the demon confuses him until he becomes part of the demon's retinue. Although he has been confused, he still has to pass through several, several more lives. Only after a long time does he officially join the demon's retinue. Before that time, his nature is not totally demonic. Do you know that demons are transformed from? Demons were originally pupil. A person who is not upright may become a demon, but it doesn't happen that fast. The demon king who haunts him, follows him, and keeps confusing him. The process takes from as short a time as nine lives to as long as a hundred generations. Sutra when their lives are over, they are bound to end up as one of the demonic gods. They will lose their proper and pervasive knowledge and fall into the relentless hells. Commentary When their lives are over, when the allotted time has passed, anywhere from nine lives to a hundred generations, and the practitioners die, they are bound to end up as one of the demonic gods. They cannot become demon kings since there is only one king. There are not many demon kings. They can only become run of the mind, uh, run of the mill demons, common citizens of the demon populace. They will lose their proper and pervasive knowledge. They will lose proper knowledge and views and will have only wrong knowledge and views. 
and they will follow along in the deeds done by the demon king, and eventually they will fall into the relentless house. After the use of their blessings as demons, their lives will end, and they will fall into the house. Sutra, you don't, you need not answer Nibbana yet. Although you are completing your attainment to the level beyond learning, hold nonetheless to your vows to answer the Dharma ending age. Bring forth great compassion to rescue and take across living beings who have proper minds and deep faith. Do not let them become possessed by demons. Help them instead to attain proper knowledge and views. I have already rescued you from birth and death. By venerating the Buddha's words, you will be repaying the Buddha's kindness. Commentary Ananda You need not answer Nirvana yet. Don't answer Nirvana yet. Stay here in the world and teach and transform living beings on my behalf. Although you are completing your attainment to the level beyond learning, hold nonetheless to your vows to answer the Dharma ending age. For all practical purposes, you have already attained the state beyond learning. The Buddha says, you should keep your compassionate vows. When the proper Dharma is gone and the Dharma image age has passed, the Dharma ending age will come. At that time, bring forth great compassion to rescue and take across living beings who have a proper mind and deep faith. Ananda, you should bring forth a mind of great kindness and compassion and save living beings whose minds are proper in the Dharma ending age. Do not let them become possessed by demons. Rescue living beings and cause them to have deep faith in you so that they will not be confused by the demon kings. Do not allow the demon kings to have their way with people. Have them the living beings in the Dharma ending age instead to be on guard and to attain proper knowledge and views. That man, that means that you and me living beings right now, not anyone else. You should urge yourself on, keep a proper attitude and outlook. Shakyamuni Buddha says, Ananda, I have already rescued you from birth and death. You have already ended birth and death. You are already a second stage ahead and you understand the way to reach the fourth stage of hardship. So, for all practical purposes, we can say that your birth and death are now ended. By venerating the Buddha's words, you will be repaying the Buddha's kindness. Now, listen to the Buddha's instruction. Do what the Buddha tells you and don't forget it. By honoring and obeying the Buddha, you are repaying and the Buddha's deep kindness. What does it mean to repay the Buddha's kindness? If we listen to the Buddha's instructions, we are repaying the Buddha's kindness. If we want to repay the Buddha's kindness, you must obey the Buddha. If Ananda wants to repay the Buddha's kindness, Ananda should listen to the Buddha. If we want to repay the Buddha's kindness, we should listen, also listen to the Buddha. We should listen to Shakyamuni Buddha and to the Dharma Master when they explain the sutras and the principles. That's why at the very start, I said you all should listen to the Buddha. I'm not a Buddha. I should also listen to the Buddha, no matter what you we shouldn't ignore the Buddha's advice. Sutra Ananda All ten of these days may occur in Dhyana as one's mental effort interacts with the thinking skanda. Commentary Ananda All ten of these days which have been just which have just been explained may occur in the still contemplation of Dhyana when you have applied enough effort to reach that level. Where do those states come from? They can happen as one's mental effort interacts with the thinking skanda. There are changes that occur in the thinking skanda as a result of 
pressure applied in cultivation when you are cultivating with a maximum effort such as this will manifest but when they manifest don't mistake a favor for your own son don't be confused by those days when you meditate your mental effort interacts with the thinking skanda they engage in battle it's like a war if your samadhi power is victorious then the thinking skanda will be compa- will be concurred but if the thinking skanda wins out and your skill in samadhi fizzles you will be caught in a demonic state and then these kinds of things will happen sutra down and confused living beings do not isolate themselves and countering such situations in their confusion they fail to recognize them and say that they have become sages thereby assuring a great life they will fall into the relentless house commentary down and confused living beings living beings do not evaluate themselves living beings are always getting attached to things they are obstinate and inflexible stupid and without uh, wisdom they do not take proper stock of themselves and countering such situations such uh, demonic states in their confusion they fail to recognize them the most important thing is that if you can recognize this then you won't be turned by them if you are clear about them you will not be confused if you don't understand then you will be confused confused confusion is basically a lack of recognition and what happens when people fail to recognize this they say that they have become sages they say things like do you know about me i've become a buddha already and i tell you it was really easy for me it was cheaper than buying a couple pieces of tofu that's really too easy isn't it such people say that they are buddhas that they have realized the way and that they are enlightened that they have penetrated their education topic and they that they've got it all figured out for example someone who came here today was the same type as the american sikh patriarch who came a few days ago he didn't bow to the buddhas or stupas the sutra describes the possessed person as not bowing in temples or all to shrines he didn't bow to the buddha or listen to the drama he just ate lunch and left the reason he left was that his demon dragged him away he was so filled with demonic energy that he felt too uncomfortable to stay for even one minute more after eating his lunch you should recognize that he was all about his manner indicated that he thought he was already a buddha so he didn't need to bow to the buddhas thereby uttering a great lie they will fall into the relentless house it is bound to fall into the relentless house in the future don't look only at the short term it may take as little as nine lives or it may take up to a hundred generations he didn't listen to the buddha dharma because of the demonic energy that had taken over him even if he told you about this one this before and you should all pay attention after this whenever you go to a temple or buddha hall you must respect the temple rules do what the other people are doing don't stand when everyone else is bowing to the buddha that no matter where he goes when you study the buddha dharma you must receptive humble and sincere sutra in the dharma ending age after manivana all of you should pass on the tathagata's teachings so that only living beings can awaken to their meaning do not let the demons of the ways have 
that the demons of the heavens have their way, offer protection so that all can realize the unsurpassed way. Commentary In the Dhamma ending age after my Nirvana, all of you should pass on the Tathagata's teachings. All of you refers to Ananda and all the great Bodhisattvas, great Ahas and great Bishops in the assembly as well as to the great elders. Here the Buddha is exhorting them. You must continue the transmigration of the Tathagata's teachings down to the Dhamma ending age so that all living beings can awaken to their meaning and so they can understand the principles of the Suragama Sutra. Tell them about the 50 kinds of skanda demons, about the demons of the form, feeling and thinking skandhas which I have explained for you. Be sure to propagate this teaching to everyone can hear it. Do not let the demons of the heavens have their way. If you let the demons do as they please, then you are in for trouble. Offer protection, maintain and support the Buddha Dharma so that all can realize the fruition of the unsurpassed way.